Parents waiting to see the released pupils of Salihu Tanko Islamia School. 93 of them have been in captivity. Unfortunately, one of them could not make it as he reportedly died in the forest. The 92 others are now back home after three months in captivity. Here at the primary health care at the Boso Low Cost area of Mina, Niger State, are the kidnapped students receiving medical care. They've been away from school after 90 days. <laughs> It's an emotional moment at the government house in Mina, where this large gathering of parents, friends and well-wishers are waiting to receive the pupils. I won't say anything, but I leave them for God. Everybody must want to live here and join our tomorrow. God will judge. God is the best answer to these people. But because I'm going to be operational, it will be. These incidents will not discourage us. If I like to discourage us, then what, what is the fate of the children? Governor Abubakar Bello of Niger State welcomes the released students and their parents to the government house, 92 of them in number. I would like to congratulate each and every one of us that have contributed in whatever means towards the release of these innocent children. This goes to show the sickness and madness in the heads of some people. Otherwise, I cannot explain or imagine why you will abduct a three-year-old, innocent three-year-old, and keep him or her for over 80 days. These students were originally abducted by gunmen on Thursday night. 92 of them have now been set free by their captors and are reunited with their loved ones.